Hail Caesar is a prestige picture with one of the biggest stars in the world, Bad Whitlock. A truth we could see if we had, but... If we had... Faith! 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 Cut! Hi, I'm Jen Spiller, and you're watching The Fan Carpet. Tonight we're at the Glasgow Film Festival where their opening premiere of Hail Caesar is taking place. We'll be talking to the festival directors, Alison Gardner and Alan Hunter. What do you think you've done differently about this festival that you've done in previous years? Uh, nothing. <laughs> well, nothing really. I mean, every year the audience spurs us on to make it better and sort of more exciting. So really we look back and see what we've learned our lessons from. You always learn from your mistakes more than you do your successes. And we just look back and see what are people interested in, what have we done well, what can we improve on. <laughs> and, and there are different elements that happen every year. Um, we're doing some industry events this year, and as Alison said, we're a big audience focused event. We're, we're now shading that up in the industry so people can come and maybe get inspired to make some films as, as well as see them. Um, we've also got a um, policy of trying to make it as accessible as possible, so we've got a lot of free things this year as well. Um, the retrospective screens every morning at half past ten, and you can see a classic Bollywood film, perhaps the Dinah. So, just little things like that to add to it every year. And also, we've got such a reputation for doing pop up events and special events in all different parts of the city, and that kind of grows every year as well. So, um, you cannot escape. <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, how did Hail Caesar come about as your opening night? Um, we saw it, we wanted it, we went for it. <laughs> In the Roman, so. Is that a mini beach? Mini beach, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. So, pretty much, we'll go for that. Yeah, we, it's a great film. It's a Coen Brothers film, it's the UK premiere. Really, it's amazing. And it's, it's a, a film about filmmaking which sort of makes it seem even more appropriate for a festival. Um, it's quite kind of nostalgic for that studio era, but because it's a Poor Brothers film, it's quite kind of dark and summer and kind of comic about that period as well. So I take it you've seen it? Yes! yes. Can you tell us anything about uh, it? It's great, yeah. it's funny, <laughs> it's dark. It's a film. It's a Poor <laughs> Brothers, Chan and Tate, boy, that can, you can you really dance. 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 <laughs> really good. A tap dance, a tap dance, a tap dance. Have you got any other highlights personally for either of you that you're looking forward to? Things I would like to be, I'd love to be doing the con air in a secret location. I'd love to be going to that with my green bio on uh, jumpsuit on and my plastic handcuffs, but I'll be a bit busy. Um, I think one of my personal highlights will be the Vic Armstrong event at Kelvin Grove on Friday night. It's a once in a lifetime a time chance to see the most prolific stuntman in the world who is the stunt double for Harrison Ford. So that, again, is a once-off, and that would be my highlight. Um, I'm looking forward to Peter Greenaway being here um, with his film on Einstein. He's also in conversation. Um, and we have the UK premiere of Urban Hymn, which is the new Michael Clayton Jones film. And it's actually 10 years since Michael Clayton Jones made a movie. So I'm really glad that he's back. And Shirley Henderson, who's in it, is just luminous and amazing and wonderful. And both of them are here for the film's UK premiere on Friday night. I'm Jane Schooler from The Fan Carpet. Thanks for watching.